Shopping carts, fast food packages, mounds of trash along the Spokane River are causing a major headache for people living in the West Hills neighborhood. Neighbors in the community are asking for changes in that area. The junk is also spilling into the cemetery at Riverside Memorial Park near People's Park. Peter Choi explains the concerns from the community and what the city is doing about this problem moving forward. I'm here at the Spokane River right now, where people who live in the West Hill neighborhood are facing issues like a public camping and an illegal garbage dumping and ongoing crime. And neighbors say they're concerned and they want a solution for their safety. From bikes and bangs left along the river to a person camping outside, this is not a unusual sight anymore for the West Hills neighborhood. It has turned into a lawless nightmare. Dealing with criminal activities for months, William Hagee, who is a chairman of the West Hills Neighborhood Council, says this issue needs to be stopped as soon as possible. I notified City Council most recently concerning uh, the amount of garbage, as well as arson fires, man-made fires, public camping, as well as, most importantly, numerous deaths in the area from violence, criminal activity, drug overdoses. Heggy told the city about the issue and it's now cleaning up. It's been actually an ongoing challenge for quite some time, for many, many months. That the city's communication director tells me the city's homeless outreach team and code enforcement have been in the area twice since March. The pounds of garbage have been taken out of there. Um, as of noon today, there are about 8,000 pounds of garbage that's been taken out, and that process is still continuing, as I understand it right now. The city tells me it's working with some of the property owned by the cemetery along the river to do additional work, including... Homeless outreach team does more than just go in and clean up and, and move people out of camping. The first effort is to get people directed to services that can address their, their needs, whether those are addiction-related needs or mental health-related needs, employment, other types of needs. The city added that they will monitor these ongoing issues and follow up with any additional cleanups. In Spokane, Peter Choi, Fornish Now.